Neil deGrasse Tyson is most famous for saying that it's the curious people who change the world. However, what has often gone under the radar is another profound quote from him, which is, I love AI-generated Asian girls. So today we're going to be fulfilling this by making an AI-generated OnlyFans. We're going to be making an AI-generated model, girlfriend, idol, whatever you want to call it, where you can input any text description and the AI will generate a picture of just that. These are actually getting really popular on Twitter and other sites. There's both girl and guy versions of this. And yeah, they make a lot of money. But yeah, today we're going to be making it and also just explaining how all of it works. So let's head right in. So the core of making all of this work is something called stable diffusion. It's an algorithm that is able to turn text into generated images. We're going to be going through all the explanation stuff later, but first, let's just try out what Stable Diffusion can do. Here we have the vanilla Stable Diffusion code, and let's try it out. So we can pretty much generate anything. Like, what do you want to see? Let's try dog on the beach. Okay, now let's try sculpture in France. All right, seems pretty good to me. And now let's try rocks in the ocean. And yeah, those are rocks in the ocean if I've ever seen them. But who cares? Let's make some money. Okay, so let's try this out right here. Hey, yo, what the hell is this? I mean, why does she have boogers coming out? So this is obviously not gonna cut it, so let's try a prompt from online. God damn. So this is not working right now because we're using the wrong data set. We're using a generic one right now, like one that's based on real life stuff, but we need a data set that's more trained for what we're trying to make. So let's use a model trained on a more fitting data set and try it again. Damn. We can also try other stuff like outside in a winter coat, inside in the living room next to a fireplace, and lastly, anime beach episode. Okay, so it's not that bad right now, but I'm not gonna lie, sometimes the faces don't look that realistic. So the missing piece to fix this is something called a LoRa. These are additional trained models, which we're gonna be covering how that works in a little bit, but they allow you to fine tune your image generation into a style. Like for example, here we have the model in an art style. But for our case, we're gonna be using Laura's trained on AI generated faces, and the end result is that the face is a lot more realistic. But yeah, with all of this, I would say that we're at about 80% of the AI girl image generation capabilities, and you don't believe me? Roll the intro. Dude, what are you even watching right now? Anyways, now you need to learn. First, what even is machine learning exactly? Well, it's actually not that different than how a kid learns. You ask them a question like, what is this? And they come up with an answer based on what their brain tells them is most likely. If they're right, we'll reward them, and if they're wrong, we'll punish them, and they'll improve for next time. But how does the brain or a computer even make a guess on what something is? Well, we can think of it like this. Let's say you're trying to tell the difference between a gold party balloon and a tree. So a kid or a computer can think, how green is it to differentiate it? As we can see here, this is a one-dimensional space because there's only one axis, but we can tell the difference between the gold party balloon and the tree. But now let's make it a green balloon and a tree. Now we can't differentiate them based on our one axis, so we need another variable which can be roundness. Now we're up to two dimensions and we're pretty good because we can tell the difference between the two. But with more data, there could be a tree that's round and a balloon that's not. So in this case, our brain or the machine learning model will have to add another factor, maybe let's say shininess, as balloons usually have a shiny spot and trees don't. Now as we can see, we're at a three-dimensional space, and with just these three dimensions, a kid and a computer can determine trees from balloons pretty well. But now let's say for differentiating a ton of different images and objects, we're gonna need more variables. When training an AI model, we're asking it a question and telling it if it's right or wrong. Each time, there's a ton of variables within the model that will be tweaked in order to help it improve on the task next time. And how it does this is with a process called gradient descent. Basically what it does is it uses a math equation called an objective function that will change the internal numbers in the right direction to make a more accurate guess next time. All these variables create a space that has way more than three dimensions and the human brain can't even picture a space with this many dimensions. 
With this, a trained AI model can describe what's in any picture based on its previous training. And yeah, that's pretty much how machine learning works. But now we want to generate images, right? And all of this depends on something called stable diffusion. It's an algorithm that can turn a picture full of noise into an HD image of whatever you describe in text. So how can we do this? First, we have to train our model. Let's start with like an image of a dog. Then let's add a bit of random noise to it 10 times. So we have an image of a dog and we add some noise and then we add some noise until we end up with an image that just looks like pure static. And now the big idea here is to train the AI to be able to remove all of this noise to get back to the image of the dog. So at each time step, we're going to be asking our model to predict the noise added and then tell it if it was right or wrong with the correct noise. Each time, the model is going to train its multi-dimensional space as we talked about before in order to get better each time. And if you train it for long enough on a ton of images, it's going to get super good at guessing the noise added at each state. Okay, now this part is actually pretty cool. If the AI can guess the noise added at each state, then it can take out that noise in order to get back the original image. This is exactly what we're going to do, and it's called sampling. Let's say the AI is trying to produce an image of the same dog that looks like this. We'll give the AI a completely noisy image and predict the noise of one time step. We're going to subtract that noise from our image, and we're still going to have a super noisy image, but it's a little bit less noisy, like maybe there's an outline of a dog now. It's also not going to be perfect because it's a prediction. So what the algorithm does is add back a little bit of noise and then feeds it back into our AI. We just keep doing this over and over again, and if you can imagine, each time more noise is being removed than added at each step. So eventually, it's gonna get closer and closer to the dog until it's the actual image of the dog. Okay, but right now the AI still doesn't know what kind of image to make. There's no guidance yet, so it's just gonna create random images, but that's what the text prompt is for, and this is something called tokenization. For the AI to turn text into an image, it's pretty much the same thing. We first train a model on an insane amount of data of pictures with text embeddings describing the photo. We would need terabytes of training data to do this ourselves, which we don't have, but luckily there's models online that do, and we can use them. One's called Clip, and it's the most famous one, and after all of the training on their data set, it can turn text prompts like dog on the beach into some values in the multi-dimensional space that would accurately represent a dog on the beach to a computer. And then this information will guide our denoising to get the generated image. Yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Really, if you just want to remember one thing, is that we're going from text to images with denoising. Ah, God, what a grind. So right now, our AI model is pretty good. Except each time we generate an image, the person looks slightly different. And this is not good because we want our idol to be a single person. So how can we do this? Well, we're gonna have to train our own AI model. As we know, training is based on data. So we need photos of what we're trying to make the model look like. However, we want this to be an AI generated person, right? I feel like if we modeled it after a real person, that'd be just pretty weird. So what we're gonna have to do is use AI to create the AI model. We're gonna use our AI image generation that we have so far, and we're gonna generate 20 photos of people. These people are all gonna look a little bit different, but what we can do is choose 10 of the best looking ones and then train a model on only those 10 photos. Then we have a model or a LoRa based on these 10 photos, and we're gonna use this LoRa to generate another 20 images. The people in these 20 images are still gonna look a little bit different, and we're gonna handpick 10 of the best looking ones, make a LoRa out of that, and feed it back into our AI model. We're just gonna keep doing this, and each time, if you can imagine, the people that are generated are gonna look more and more similar each time until it converges to just looking like the same single person. This is kind of like when people make pasta, they have the dough and they keep feeding it through the pasta maker thing and they keep repeating this until the dough is ready to be made as pasta. Okay, so after all of this, our AI now is able to generate the same person in every photo and is now ready for the internet. Don't believe me? Take a look. Okay, so first let's make a Twitter and for all of this information we can just ask ChatGPT and for the OnlyFans I actually have some bad news you need to be human verified and I submitted my passport for it and it just didn't get approved so we're just gonna have to go with Twitter I know, I know OnlyFans is in the title and everything but 
Within the first 15 minutes, we got one comment already. John says, you are so blessed and beautiful. Thank you, John. For the next couple of days and weeks, I'm not gonna lie, there was very little traction, so I had to try something like online advertising. And now we're up to 300 followers on Twitter. Most of them just say that you are so beautiful, which is not that surprising. There's a few that are asking to offer some kind of money. There's also this one guy that commented the most sim stuff ever, and he actually follows me. Eric, my man, DM me. You do not have to be doing this. There's also a couple comments asking to meet. Like there's this one comment that says, are you in New York City? Can we meet up? You are so pretty. Oh shit, that was me. I got tricked one day by my own OnlyFans. After all of this, our account is still growing, but I would say it's getting a little bit out of control. I'm gonna have to level with you guys here. I simply cannot let my biggest coding achievement be making an AI OnlyFans. So I don't wanna get too deep into this, even though I counted and I spent like 300 hours on this. But anyways, I don't want to get too deep into it. So like Picasso setting down his paintbrush for the last time, I'm shutting this down. And here's the last photo of our AI model. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to leave all the code and instructions on how to use the code in the description. You guys can check that out and hopefully learn some CS in the process. Some updates from my life, I finally moved into New York City. It's pretty good. I've been grinding YouTube pretty much every night after work, even though it may not seem like it, but I am. We also got a ton of new subscribers, so that's really cool. I'm glad you guys are liking the videos. If you're new here, join the Discord. It's moderated now and everything, so it's a lot better. Oh yeah, for my whole change the world, uh, Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, life's dream. That's just still in full effect. It's a long process, I think, but yeah, I'm working on it. That's pretty much it, so. Catch you guys later. Peace. Let me interrupt for a quick word. I love artificial intelligence generated Asian girls.